uh, away from that, the Deputy Defence Minister Kofi Amankwame says the security agencies are on the alert to deal with any act that threatens Ghana's peace and stability. He says threats of a coup d'etat should not be encouraged in any democracy when there are disagreements over government policies and decisions. He says such pronouncements tend to adversely affect the external image of the country. There's more in the following report. It is worrying more especially when you have people who are supposed to know better talking or calling for coups. It is worrying. Sometimes I, I, I shudder to wonder if those who are calling for coups have really experienced coups in Ghana or in other countries within the sub-region. I don't think it is the way to go. Look, we have many people, we have people who support what the MPP government is doing. Much the same way, we have others who also have a, di a different uh, opinion. That is why, within the laws of Ghana, we have said that every four years we will go to the ballot. So if you like what the NPP is doing, just go to the ballot and then make that decision. If on the other hand you disagree, again, you have the ballot to make that decision. We are not going to use guns to make that decision, no. And so it is worrying. We want to develop this country, and we can develop this country not through coups. No, we can develop this country by sharing ideas. We can always disagree to agree. We don't have to, to fight. That is why I, I, I thought it was in, in a bad taste when the General Secretary of the NDC said that if they want to make sure that whatever standing orders or the laws we have in Parliament work and, and they have to slap for those laws to work, they will slap. For crying out aloud, Parliament is not a boxing arena and nobody wants to go there and box. We go to Parliament to debate, we go to Parliament to share ideas. It's a place where we always agree or disagree to agree so that we can push the, the country forward. If we go to Parliament and we begin to box ourselves, then you, you, can, you can imagine what will happen to this country. I will want to take this opportunity to ensure every Ghanaian, every Ghanaian living in this country called Ghana, to go about their normal duties without any fear. Because I have so much confidence in our men in uniform, they are prepared to protect this country from, from those I will call the destroyers, the doomsayers. Because for them, probably, I don't know what, what really they will seek to benefit from coup. But I believe, I believe in all fairness, that majority of Ghanaians do not want that to happen. We want our freedom. If we want to make a decision, so far as changing government in this country is concerned, we will go to the ballot box and not use the bullet.